Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ricardo and today I will go through the show cockpit interface uh, to show you how to configure it to control MPC by Martin Professional with an Akai APC Mini that I have here with me uh, today and the first time you launch show cockpit uh, you will be presented this screen uh, I'm running version 1.1.0 and in, in the case you are seeing this in the very far future uh, maybe the buttons are a bit different uh, I hope it doesn't change a lot uh, so as of this version we have four sections we have project elements mapping and license the project is the section that we are seeing right now and it enables you to uh, create a new show file to save your show file uh, to load the show file or, and to continue where you left where you, when you close the application the last time so we'll start by creating a new project to start with we'll give it a name let's give it video tutorial okay and we will move to the elements section and in this section you will need to add the elements that you need for your project so in this case we will need the external control MIDI Akai APC Mini we can give it a different name but we will leave it as the default name and we also need the Martin MPC driver okay you can click on the element to show uh, the options on the right and for the AKI we will need to select the input and the output MIDI devices um, before we can continue and before we can connect we can click here to connect to the AKI you'll see that the buttons will light because the default uh, initialization configuration for the buttons is to show yellow but you can also change that um, here by opening the window you can ed edit the initialization you can you can edit the initialization state which is this yellow you can edit the on configuration and it changes to the on configuration and the off uh, configuration for example if you want the lower buttons to to start a blinking yellow well you can click and this is now your initialization value and once you go to live mode this is the initialization state of your controller we will change that to uh, well you, ca you can click on the pads to keep changing uh, to go through the options that you have we'll leave it off in this case just because we want it to be off in the beginning okay let's get back to live mode and we can now connect to MPC you see here on the MPC screen that uh, an MPC has been added to the system uh, that is the name that you give to the, to the element so if you change it to a different name it will appear there uh, with the name that you want and now that, that we have all the elements that, that we need for this project we can go to the mapping section and in this section uh, we can start by linking our controls uh, to functions in MPC so in the left you have the functions you have here your elements in, in this case we only have MPC uh, so if we want to control for example the main playbacks here on, on, the, on the bottom uh, which are these faders here we can link them using the main playback fader uh, function we can pick here on the parameters uh, which playback we want we want to start with playback 1 and we can click here on the control to assign the function you notice that the playback number has been incremented automatically so that you can easily go through your faders and assign all of them to the faders in MPC so I don't have to do anything else if I now uh, bring one fader up you'll see that in MPC the fader is acting accordingly to what I'm doing here on the controller and now we want to show also another example is to control the flash um, buttons here on the bottom and those are the main playback buttons uh, in this case down down so we'll start with one again I will click uh, this button here to highlight it so I know each time I, I click a button it will highlight on the interface so that is easier for you to 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 know the button in case you don't know the name of the button so let's start with playback one uh, down down which is flash 
in this case we will assign it to pad 8 1 here 2 3 4 5 6 7 uh, and I will show you a different thing uh, in the last pad I will show you that you can actually assign well a function that is also assigned to another pad for example but you can actually assign more than one functions so if I click the same pad again now I'm, I'm assigning two functions to that same pad so I'm controlling flash on uh, playback 1 and 2 with this pad with pad 8.8 8. okay and now I can I can go through and add all the playbacks and I can actually control with just one pad I can control um, all flash all flash buttons here on the on the main playback section so if I click uh, the pad you will notice that in MPC the flash button will light up and you have feedback on your controller accordingly and you can do that for all your buttons okay and also uh, as I mentioned our last pad is configured to flash all the buttons and we can also test it and it not only uh, works but it also gives feedback to the to the, all your other pads in the Akai Mini so uh, that's it uh, I think in roughly five minutes we configured uh, some controls in our Akai uh, Mini to MPC and I hope you enjoyed the video of course uh, I hope it gave you an insight of what you can do with with this application so my suggestion now is go to our website showcockpit.com download the application for free and and try it out in case you have any doubt you can contact us uh, via Facebook or via email the links are available on the bottom of our webpage so thank you for watching and see you in the next video maybe